What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get Windows 8 on a Mac. So, usually you'd think that I'd be going through, um, say, boot camp or something, but I tried doing this using a MacBook Pro, uh, trying to install the Windows 8 release preview, and it just simply would not work. I had my boot disk or boot USB plugged in, going through the install process, I partitioned my hard drive, but there was an issue with um, MBR and GPT and such and uh, it just simply wouldn't allow me to install the Windows 8 release preview natively uh, which which um, I haven't had that problem before with the consumer preview and the developer preview they seem to install just fine so instead I'm going to show you all how to install it within OS 10 as a virtual machine so for this you're going to need to download a free piece of software called VirtualBox provided by Oracle you can get it from this website here, www.virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. And you're going to want to download the um, OS X hosts uh, link. You want to click on that and then it'll start downloading it and go through the install process and install it. And yes, that is my MacBook Pro fans kicking in. And then once it's installed, we'll go to Launchpad, open VirtualBox, and this is the main screen for VirtualBox. So what we're going to end, oh, another thing before I continue, you are going to want to head over to Microsoft's website and download the Windows 8 release preview ISO. Now depending on your computer or your preference, you want to download the 32-bit or the 64-bit ISOs. Oh dear. Um, for the case, uh, for just for this video, I'm going to um, show you the 64-bit uh, installation. So if you go in and tap on new, this is the uh, the virtual machine wizard creation thing. So we'll just click uh, continue, and I'm just going to type in uh, the name of the virtual machine that I want. I'll just type in Windows 8, and you can see it's already detected the operating system and what version of that operating system. But for this video, I'm just going to go Windows 8 64-bit. For you, you can just pick whatever you want. We'll go continue. And then uh, you have to select the amount of RAM you want the compute you want the virtual machine to be able to use. Now this doesn't mean that it's just going to take out a block of your RAM, but it will use it when it's necessary. So you don't want to have loads and loads of memory intensive apps running. Now for the 64-bit version of Windows 8 release preview, the minimum amount of RAM required is two gigabytes. So I'm just going to put that much. That is two gigabytes there. Right, if I hit continue, now um, this you want to keep the startup disk uh, uh, checkbox checked. And if you're new to VirtualBox, you're, you're going to want to create a new hard disk. Even if you know how to use VirtualBox, create a new hard disk anyway. Now just go ahead and click continue. You want to keep this as VDI VirtualBox disk image. Hit continue. Uh, now you get the option to choose dynamically allocated or fixed size. Now, um, if, if you can read here, dynamically allocated basically means that it won't create, uh, so, say for example, I'm going to put 30 gigabytes for this Windows 8 installation. If you pick fixed size, it'll create that 30 gigabytes and take 30 gigabytes out of your hard drive then and there for uh, the, Windows 8, um, the Windows 8 operating system to use. So you can't access that 30 gigabytes. However, dynamically allocated means that it'll a lot if you, you set 30 gigabytes, but it won't take out 30 gigabytes immediately. It'll start using up that 30 gigabytes over time, which means that it won't have uh, it won't take up as much hard drive space at least in the beginning. Although I have heard that that does make the system a little slow at first, but I mean. I've got 500 gig. I've got a 500 gig hard drive in this MacBook Pro, and I won't be using all of that. So I'm just going to go with fixed size for now. I'll hit continue, so you can see it. I've got the name there and the location. I'm just going to keep that where it is. And for this, I'll put. I'll just type in a number. I'll just put 30 gig. Oh, 30 gigabytes. We'll hit continue. You can check over all the things there, and once you're sure that's all correct, hit create. Now it's uh, going. To, it's got this little loading bar here, and it'll continue through. It'll take 
for me, uh, so you can see that it says uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, you can see it's just jumping around a bit. Um, it will take a few minutes. I'll um, cut straight to where it's completed. Alright guys, so um, it's uh, finished creating the VDI. So you can see here we've got the uh, information, the Windows 8, 64-bit, 2 gigs of RAM, and that's the name of the um, startup disk with 30 gigabytes. It says the above information is correct, press the create button. And that you can change these settings at any time in the settings pane. So I'm going to hit create. And um, there it is. So you can see here we've got uh, all kinds of information. What I'm going to do is uh, right click on it, choose settings. So you can see here we've got that information. System, we've got the base memory, um, all these things. Uh, don't want to enable EFI. You've got your display, you can give how much video RAM you want, enable 2D video acceleration. If you go storage, you've got your settings there. Audio, you can add your own drivers and such if you plea if you want to. Now uh, enabled network adapter. I'm just going to change that to um, bridged adapter because that's how I've been able to get internet access through um, Windows 8 but I'm not sure if it's necessary then you've got your ports, your shared folders so I'm just going to hit OK now I believe the next step is to just um, double click on it to start the virtual machine so you can see it's, you've got the first run wizard I'm just going to hit continue now it's going to ask for the um, ISO to install the uh, operating system. So I'm just going to click on that little icon there. I've got it in my downloads folder, so I'm going to select the 64-bit uh, edition. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, that's a little bit of summary and such. So you can see here uh, all the um, information there. I'm just going to hit start. So you can see here that's the loading screen virtual machine. So you can see here it's got uh, the Windows ISO, the Windows installation ISO running inside this little box. If you want you can hit command F to enter full screen mode just like that. But for the time being it's going to leave it running in windowed. Loading screen. Notice here that my mouse has changed from white to black but if I move it out of the window I get my normal OS 10 cursor back. So this is the virtual machine, it is running the Windows 8 install ISO. I'm just going to go here and change it from um, the United States to Australia. There it is. And do note that because this is running within um, OS 10 as a virtual machine, you won't need to install the bootcamp drivers and such, so if you have inverse scrolling enabled on your Mac, you just need to use inverse scrolling in Windows 8 and it'll work just fine. You don't need to configure any settings. Plus tap to click if you have that enabled on your MacBook. Um, that'll also work here in the in the virtual machine because it's getting all the mouse uh, information from OS 10. So that all works just fine. We'll just wait here. You can see it says setup is starting. Okay, so we've got a window here where um, you need to enter the uh, release preview um, uh, product key now I'm not exactly sure why Microsoft have got that little um, restriction there like you have to enter in the um, product key and this is this product key is the same one that you find when you download Windows 8 from Microsoft as an ISO when you download Windows 8 uh, install ISO from Microsoft's website it um, does give you the um, product key but in case you didn't write it down or anything it's uh, showing up on screen right now and I'm just gonna read it out anyway so what you're gonna want to enter is um, TK8TP and it'll enter the dashes for you automatically so we'll just go 9JN6P 7X7WW RFF TV and finish it off B7QPF. Now, if I've entered that correctly, hopefully it'll work.
Okay, so it's um, accepted that product key. So the, there is only one for the release preview, and you can find that on Microsoft's um, website. So if we're just going to go here, I'll click yes, I accept the license terms. Go next. Okay, now uh, because we are running this as a new install, we want to hit custom. And you can see here, this is the 30 gigabyte um, VDI file, or like the little hot, like virtual hard drive that we created. So um, for those of you that do use boot camp, you usually know that you need to go into drive options and then hit format. But um, we won't need to do that, so we're just going to hit next. In fact, to give you a little bit of info, I tried formatting the um, hard drive when I was trying to do it through boot camp, the 30GB um, partition, that is, and that's why I encountered the MBR GPT issue kind of thing. So, um, yeah, that's I've never I've never had that with any um, version of Windows before, which is really interesting. So um, that's why I'm showing you how to do it through VirtualBox, running as a win uh, virtual machine. So you can see here it is installing Windows, um, it's doing all that. This is going to take a bit of a while as I know from um, past experience. So I'll just cut straight to where it's finished. Alright guys, so um, now it's finished installing uh, using the ISO and it's uh, rebooted the virtual machine and now this is running off the actual like, the virtual hard drive that we said before, the 30 gigabyte one. So um, that ISO really isn't needed anymore, but just keep it there just in case if you want. So now we're at the startup, the setup screen for Windows 8. This is the personalized screen. So I'm just going to pick a color, and I'm just going to um, I'll just set it as oh there we go. I'll just set it as oh can't put um, can't, apostrophes. So I'll just put it as that perhaps PC. Hit next. All right, these are the settings. I'm just going to go with Use Express Settings. Uh, sign in. Um, I'm just going to go sign in without a Microsoft account for now. Uh, I'll go for a local account. Um, just put in my. I'll just put in my uh, password for the local account. So you can see here it says uh, finalizing your settings. Hopefully that won't take too long. I've got a black screen here. Your PC will be ready in just a moment. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, so um, it's finished uh, setting up the computer. So um, as you can see here, this is Windows 8 running inside a virtual machine. Now um, it is a little bit... Uh, there we go. Sorry, it might be a little bit slow because I am running a QuickTime screen recording as well. But um, yeah, that's it. That's how you get Windows 8 running on, uh, on your Mac using VirtualBox. Now um, this isn't over just yet, well yeah, this is the end of the video, but I will be making a second video on how to uh, get Windows 8 uh, running through VirtualBox to um, work full screen. Like you can hit Command F and it will take you full screen, but you will only be able to get it in a 4x3 resolution and going through into desktop mode to change the resolution will only give you 4x3 resolutions. But there is a way around that and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. So um, stay tuned for that. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.